throne game. Let's let's go. Uh, let's just go. Gut reaction to uh, the the last episode. You get uh, gut reaction is I I was pretty sure it was going to be bad and it, and it was and there was just one result that I didn't want. We're spoiling it, right? We yeah, we're spoiling. It's all spoilers okay. from this point on. So uh, some of the online sports books had Bran sitting on the throne at my, it went up to minus 500. And I was like, Oh, I really hope this is HBO and game of Thrones, like putting $10,000 on it, spreading it around. So to throw everyone off the scent, mm. because I did not want that guy. He's done nothing all year. He was used as bait in the big, in the first big battle scene. And sure enough, he's the freaking, he's on the throne. Now I don't know if they pay that out because there actually was no iron throne. Thanks to that pissed off dragon. who uh, who torched it. But, uh, yeah, you didn't want him winning, did you? The king of comedy? Now he's just the king. <laughs> uh, no, I did not. I actually was hoping Sansa would get it. Oh, interesting. But, well, let's go through the episode. I, I was All disappointed right. as well. I, I, On the scale of one to the Soprano suddenly ending, mm-hmm. it would probably be in the middle for me for how upset I was. I wasn't that upset. You were... After The Sopranos, you were the most upset sports or non-sports I've ever seen you or heard you. You were out of your mind. I was really mad. I was considering like not like unfriending people who like the ending. And it seems like now everybody likes the ending. It bummed me out. But one thing it has done, my expectations are so low for endings <laughs> like for shows like this. Uh, I t- for one thing, and I know you, you'll do your thing in a second, but the in. Game of Thrones defense, I think it's very difficult for shows like this with multiple characters, like dozens of characters, yeah. to tie up all the loose ends. Like, you're going to be disappointed, even in an episode you liked. I liked the last one. I liked when, Me too. Uh, when, when Danny broke bad. Like, all right, maybe it happened too quickly, too abruptly, but I kind of liked it. She was badass. It was fun. Um, but even that said, you can find 15 things wrong with it. But I think that's just how that's how it was with Lost, too. Right. Even the great up episodes. It's like, oh, come on. That couldn't happen even in a, you know, what, whatever. So. All right. Tell me what what do you want to start with? This? I'm just going to go through the episode and chime in when necessary. I'm going to play some throne game. So. Starts out Tyrion um, magically is able to find where his sister and brother are buried under all these rocks. Mm hmm. Not even buried under a lot of rocks. It's like you can lift one brick up and, oh, there's Cersei. And I, I kind of felt like they could have gotten out of that. Felt like they should have been under like three. Yeah. Like three layers of rocks before, you know, he should have been digging for seven hours, but moves one brick, whatever. Yeah. Maybe see a foot or something and then start to get, well, he, he, I guess he can't lift a lot. So that that, that would have taken the whole hour maybe, but uh, all right. And then uh, very upset about Jamie, not as upset about Cersei. Obviously, I would I would have liked to have yeah. had her do the wake up for a split second and then die moment like the, oh, like the scary thing. But that didn't yeah. happen. So they're done. And if you notice, they're both dead with with him lying on her kind of like they're almost like dead cuddling. Right. Yeah. Dead spooning. It's a big. Thing yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it starts yeah. out with uh, the show. First episode ends with. A doggy style sex scene that ends with him pushing Bran off the uh, <laughs> off the hit yeah. tower, and ends with them cuddling in a pile of rocks. So there you go. Right, right. <laughs> Danny gave a big speech. She she talked a lot in that weird language, mm-hmm. which I think I do. You think they actually write that language out, or do you think she just ad libs words and then they just put subtitles underneath it? I think at this point they do have to write it out because the 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 maniacs, uh, mostly in the ringer, would would freak out if something think, didn't make I think sense. You can right? study that language. You can. Oh, like, Kyle said. It's out there. Kyle what? studies that language when he's taking a dump in the second floor of my house. <laughs> I saw in the office. Jindon, Jean, Jindon. How can anyone even hear what she's saying? They're banging their <laughs> sticks against the ground. Like they, we're supposed to believe they know every time she's going to stop and every time she's going to resume her speech. She should throw in like an occasional English word just to make all the Thrones maniacs mad. Like, mean man, right. mean here, Sony PlayStation, yeah. you got me all. <laughs> a Baba Bowie once in a while couldn't <laughs> hurt. Hey, it's turn. So anyway, uh, she decided Tyrion was treasonous. And then uh, Tyrion goes, Jon Snow and Tyrion, they get together. And Tyrion's basically like, can you, 
you got to do this. You got to just kill this lady. Like, what are you doing? What are we doing here? Mm-hmm. And some really good, some really good quotes. Everywhere she goes, evil men die and she becomes more powerful for it. Like that one. Mm-hmm. Love is more powerful than reason. Love is the death of duty. Sometimes duty is the death of love. Mm-hmm. These are things you and I have never said to each other as we talked about our marriages. Not yet. It's more yeah, like not on a podcast. Yeah, it's more like my wife's really mad. I have to go away again this week. Stuff like that. <laughs> right. Right. So John then goes to see Danny to kind of you know that was a necessary scene. It was a good scene because you figure oh he's he's being a pussy. All right, cut to the next. Yeah, scene. I, okay, I, yeah. that's what I thought. I thought they were like, all right, this is Tyrion's Emmy clip. He's gonna get killed in the next scene. Jon Snow is gonna pussy out like he always does. Danny's going to fall off a dragon and then Sansa's going to take over or maybe Arya kills or whatever. John goes to see Danny. Danny's ogling the, uh, the throne. Really excited about it. She's checking it out. All these swords. Right. She's bragging. I've heard stories about all the swords of that mm-hmm. killed that guy. Um, then they have this whole conversation about the future and what's good. And and John sounds like, well, how do I know what's good? And she's like, you're just gonna have to trust me. It's all gonna be better. He's like, well, how do I know? And they do this kind of dance, and then um, they break up. Right. They broke up because he plunged a knife into her heart and killed her. Yeah, yeah, that's so, <laughs> a rough breakup. Yeah, <laughs> I'd like to think they were dating till uh, till the tail end. Um, the. Yeah, people get mad if you break up with them over text. That would have been pre- preferred, <laughs> right? Yeah, Danny's case. now maybe yeah. a text or a ghost, sir. But but in this in this case, a knife to the heart. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the dragon comes in, and that was my favorite part of the whole whole show. And the dragon comes in, pretty fierce. Yeah, that good. dragon cries. He does this whole stands on his back legs, lifts his dragon wings out. Does like, ah! does like the Sly Stallone. Um, mm-hmm. And then uh, it seems like he's going to just blow fire on Jon Snow. Decides not to. And why did it decide not to? What do we figure? What are, no, no, there's some theories on that. They're related, right? He's a Targaryen. Yeah, he can't. He can't kill him. Okay. He can't do it. Okay. All right. Or that, that's fine. Or they're, he just kind of liked him. Okay. Yeah. Well, then he potentially may have got confused with the dragons, but he may have ridden on him, right? So, he, yeah, that's true. I yeah. think that was, he rode Stan though. I don't think he rode that one. Oh, that was Bob. Him, he, right. he rode Stan. Okay. So then the dragon just blows fire right next to Jon Snow. Like basically mm-hmm. like, I, here's how bad my breath smells. You right, get a whiff yeah. of this. It's going to be really hot breath right, right in your vicinity. And you're going to remember mm-hmm. that smell for the rest of your life. Then flies off. Never see the dragon again. Apparently takes Danny. Crushes the, th- the throne. Obliterates, Blit- the, obliterates throne. Yeah. the throne. Then all of a sudden we're at like a thrones council. Did you know that was what I didn't know? And then we moved ahead. Now everybody knows Jon Snow killed her. Like a whole mm-hmm. bunch of scenes were skipped. Tyrion is in handcuffs still, but now everybody knows Jon Snow and he's got to be whatever too. But then there's a council. I don't really remember how he ended up with a council. Brianna Tarth's on it. Yeah. So, so this scene, th- this can't be even the greatest Thrones apologist. I, I can't imagine more than 10% of people are okay with how this ends up. But yeah, keep going. They're all in it. There are it's like twelve. It's like it's like the uh the high table in John Wick, basically. Mm-hmm. And there's some randos in the in the twelve. I didn't really understand right. how we ended up with a couple of them. Like Sam right. Sam that's the guy's name, right? Sam? Sam, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. Sam was in there. Pretty sure he shouldn't yep. be on the like lead council to decide. He shouldn't even be alive. Yeah. The way that, that battle scene that was insane. Bizarre. Got, like yeah. I, I would have tried to mix that. Like, I would have had Tormund, the guy, the Viking guy with the beard. No, that's would have had him on yeah. there. And I don't know. I would have mm-hmm. mixed it up a little bit more. Yeah. So they have this council and then they all realize like they need a new king or a queen mm-hmm. and there's no policy in place. And one guy stands up and starts to plead his case. They tell him to shut the fuck up <laughs> and they, they just kind of don't know what to do. And Grey Worm's like, can we just, let's just kill Tyrion and then we'll figure it out later. Then Tyrion's mm-hmm. like, Hey, I have some ideas on what we should do for the next king. And everybody shuts up and listens for the next five minutes yeah. as he lays out the whole case for actually it should be Bran because Bran remembers everything that's happened in the past and the stories are what should make a great king. And that's why we should take this this right. guy who can't walk and who creeps everybody out and is the least funny character in the history of television 
and uh, let's put let's put Westeros in in his hands. Let's do yeah. this. And by the way, are we supposed to believe that all these different entities know the story about of Bran? I, I I got the impression that he everyone was just hearing it for the first time, aside from Sansa and 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 uh, Fat Sam and everybody and and those people. I think it's like, hey, listen, uh, look at the guy. You know, he he remembers everything. He has magic powers. Um, he hasn't demonstrated them for any of you in the last few minutes. But trust me, <laughs> you know what? Even if you don't believe he has magic powers, he was pushed out a window. He's a cripple. Let's just make him king. Yeah. Come on, what do you say? And to a man, they're all on board except for his sister, who actually knows the story. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, all right, you could do that, but we're gonna separate. The North is the North. Yeah. You'd be by yourself. Everyone votes yes, and she's like, hold up. Yeah. Basically, she negotiates, I'll take the North, make me queen of the North, and I won't make mm-hmm. a big fuss here, and I want your 2021 first-round pick, and <laughs> right. you got to throw in Frank Nidalinka, and that's it, <laughs> yes. and then we're good to go. So yeah. this is the Daniel Jones of all drafts right here. Yeah. Everybody's good right away with this. All right, so- mm-hmm. The creepy cripple, he's going to take, he's going to be the new king. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Sansa is going to get the north. And then they're like, what about Jon Snow? And, and it's like, well, he'll just be with Great Grey Worm's bad now. He's like, really? Really? Yeah. We're doing this? I my, So basically, I give up my life. I lose my girlfriend. This guy stabs my queen in the heart. I, we lose all the dragons. All of my Dothraki dudes are dead. Or no, he's not Dothraki, right? What is he? No, he, he is, great yeah. room star Thraki, right? No, yeah. uh, unsullied. Oh, he's, he's unsullied. Not? Yeah, he's like you. The unsullied, which, by the way, you don't know if there's eighteen unsullied <laughs> left or or two hundred thousand. Right. Yeah. The, mm-hmm. So he's just bitter, and then on top of everything, like Jon Snow gets to live. Uh, Brand Brand the Unbroken. No, Brand the Broken. Brand the Broken. Tyrion, yeah. who's about to get the electric chair. Then sa- saves his life with the five minute soliloquy, becomes the hand to the king, yeah. names him Bran the Broken, and doesn't, and then everything's fine. And now he's not not a traitor and didn't commit treason. And and the only one that everybody really likes, Jon Snow, is uh he's 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 exiled to the winter area to the north with all these terrible people, and uh and and everyone's okay with it, even like even though like there's only one person who doesn't like Jon Snow at this point. It's Grey right. Worm. Like, yeah, it's Grey yeah. Worm and he's out. So it's like everybody likes Jon Snow on one side. Grey Worm's on the other side. Mm-hmm. Jon Snow is basically on the Knicks with KD right. and Kemba and then gets traded right. to the T-Wolves <laughs> and now has to Literally, live in Minnesota yeah. outdoors Yeah, and play for and hang out with Tormund and hopefully every once in a while get a wilding thing. Well, that looked like the start of like a Bud Light commercial when he uh, locked eyes with Tormund, right? I was like, oh, they're, they're, <laughs> they're back. There's going to be beers flowing. Anytime. I mean, that's instead of a prequel, they could just do the postquel. So, yeah, you're right. So, uh, so Santa keeps the North. I'm trying to think. Oh, I was thinking, um, <laughs> I wrote down in my notes. First of all, <laughs> say, say, who was the one who said, Bran has no interest in being king and he can't father children? Oh, Sansa. It was so yeah, it was yeah. tough. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. I was ringing endorsement of Brad's candidacy. <laughs> it's tough. He doesn't yeah. want to be the king. He can't walk and he can't fire the children. Can we come up with a better choice? Everybody's like, no, actually, no. It, this is our choice. Yeah, forget the Curries. This is the sibling rivalry or the or the Hound and the. But yeah, it's this is it, it was incredible. And like that, that was the last thing I wanted was for Brand to rule. But at least if it was going to happen. Make it some magical shit. Don't make it some Tyrion who's really about to have his head cut off, like you said, anyway, that he wins over all these people who have no idea who Bran right. is. Come on. And then give me a break. And then Bran, who de- doesn't really say he's like that guy who he doesn't doesn't really say anything, offer anything, offer any help, any guidance, any real mm-hmm. reason that something should happen. But then after it happens, he's one of those, oh, I told you that was gonna happen. Yeah, well, right. if, yeah. Well, that that was going to happen all along. It's all preordained. It's like, well, if you knew, if you know everything's preordained, could you just fucking tell us before maybe Danny burns down an entire city? Did you knew yeah. that was preordained? Could you have just given us a tip, heads up? 
Ugh. It's like he's got Biff's Dion Warwick. All yeah, he's got like the Biff. The, what was the Biff Sports Encyclopedia? Back to the Future right. too. Yes, he basically Great sports all. Yeah, he has that and doesn't share the information with anybody. He's just like, oh yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, I knew that. I knew he was gonna kill Danny. Yeah, those. Oh yeah, and, and Tyrion. Yeah, I knew. I knew this was all gonna work out, and you're gonna be my hand because that's right. He knew, even though the Night King was nose to nose with him, that Sansa was going to come in the last minute, and even though she was a hundred miles away from the whole thing and and uh, saved the day, he knew the whole. Thing. So you have this fucking council, and yeah. at no point does anybody on the council say, "Hey, Bran, you seem to know everything that happened and is going to happen. What would happen if you yeah. became the king? How would that go? Can you just tell us? Can you save the time yeah, right. so we don't have to have the vote? Would you be a king? Can you lay out the next forty years for us? No, nobody brings that up." Right. So, yeah, in a way, I'm glad they rushed through it. But yes, you're right. They, there should have been a little more to it that everyone is now the first time anyone ever agrees on the one king. This is going to be it. <laughs> right. No questions asked. Well, I was saying the irony of this being on the same day as the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. This mm -hmm. was basically brand brand cash the suitcase. Oh, right. Yeah. It was going to be it was looking like San Sansa. And then Bran came flying in with the suitcase and was like, ding, ding, ding. Oh, whoa, whoa, all right. And then he took the he took the throne, basically. It was a Money in the Bank throne match. So can a series be ruined by by its finale? <laughs> I had a couple people email me that the first six seasons were MJ, first six Bulls titles. <laughs> and then these last two were MJ Wizards. I, I, that's not mm. as insulting of an analogy as it seems like because I actually enjoyed the last two MJ Wizard seasons, even though they didn't result yeah. in any titles. Right, right, right. I, well. I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this season more than most. I just didn't really like the council thing. I thought it was too. Uh, too it was too fucking crazy. It ruined it. Like have some supernatural thing happen with Brian yeah. if you're gonna do it. It's just it just too too much. Uh, we trust you. Little guy, go ahead, go on. Everyone go on with their lives. And then for Sansa to turn her back on it, you know, like what a what a petty thing that was. Well, I Ugh. don't think anybody, anything gets uh, hundreds of thousands of soldiers fired up more than the words brand the broken. <laughs> Who's your leader? It's brand the broken. Oh, awesome. <laughs> and, and then is it related to Bob the Builder? No, nah, no. Brand the guy. broken. Brand the broken. Gray, poor Grey Worm. He's taken over the Unsullied. Then he's like, all right, he's Brand the Broken. I, I guess I'm Grey Worm, no genitals. Right. So it's how Brand the Broken and Grey Worm, no genitals are feuding. This is now the worst thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't, didn't seem possible, but yeah. Uh, uh, so John Snow say goodbye to the Starks, but they're not. Are they related anymore, Kyle? I still can't figure out what yeah, that happened. His mom, his mom is a Stark. Okay. Yeah, his mother's. Did they all have the yeah. same mom though? No. They're so cousins. they're like he's they're like a cousin. Exactly. So they thought he was a bastard half brother, but he's actually just their cousin. Exactly. All right. So you and I. I mean, you want to talk shooting percentage? Yeah. Good job by those dragons. Somehow, somehow, killing off hundreds of thousands of peasants and everyone and you know anyone in their path, but uh, managed to save thirteen of the fifteen main characters <laughs> yeah, from that great. battle scene. Pinpoint aim. <laughs> Episode five. So wow. Jon Snow said goodbye to all the Starks. Not as emotional as I wanted it to be. I, I did like the uh, farewell with Arya. And then um, she's going west of Westeros, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So she she's becoming a pirate, it looks like. Mm -hmm. I'm into that. Right. She that's fine. She uh, if they if they want to do a post school, I'd be Arya the pirate in the 1300s. I guess it would be the 1330s now. Mm -hmm. Um, that would be good. Sansa's queen of the north. Bran is Bran the Broken, the king of everything <laughs> except for the north. Jon Snow is just hanging out in Minnesota with Carl Anthony Towns and Ghost, who has now one ear. <laughs> never, never heard the story of that one either. Why does Ghost have one ear? Oh, what the, the uh, wolf? Oh, the wolf? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What happened to the ear? I don't know. No explanation. They had to maim I didn't even Ghost. It had one ear. It only had yeah. one ear. They had to maim oh. Ghost. Why'd they do that? I think it cut off its own ear after listening to the, the tribal council there. It's like, I can't hear this anymore. <laughs> they told Ghost, Brand the Broken is now our new king. He's like, I'm, I'm cutting my ear off. This is bullshit. Yeah. And then uh, the other highlight from the ending was Brienne somehow had a yearbook and she's writing Jamie's story. Yeah. And uh, 
and kind of it, it was like uh, when you're graduating high school and you're writing whatever. She did that. Mm-hmm. I threw out, I was hoping for her, but she was pregnant. Oh. It would have been fun. Right. And maybe they cut that out, but for there was about a 10 seconds there where it was like Brianna Starth now carrying mm-hmm. a, a new Lannister and maybe, you know. Well, you have to read. You'll, you'll have to read the, the book. Read that book. Her and Sammy's book. Yeah, so then uh, then it just kind of ended with Jon Snow as this sad life walking. He's with Tormund and they're going to look for some some uh, some wilding people. It was unsatisfying. Oh, and then the, all many, the brothels are gone. Forgot to mention that. We lost all oh, the brothels. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that was sad. So that they were making big decisions there. So that was it, right? That I lead I I hit everything. No, I think that was it. Um I don't know. Yeah, they were killing villagers in the beginning and uh captives and that it was that struggle. I, I think you should call who who got killed on Lock It In this week. Well, Clay won and I lost. I I, I came in second. Oh, it's yeah, too bad because you could have called him here, Clay right? the Broken. Maybe that's what you should call him <laughs> as the king. I think I am going Come to. Come Clay the yeah. Broken. <laughs> <laughs> it's as absurd uh, a gesture. Well, Ugh. so I give. So disappointing. I give the first three seasons um, an A++++. plus plus plus. I give the next three seasons like a B plus, And then. I would go. I would go B minus for these last two. I still think it's like incredible television. Like last week's episode was uh, was out of control. I loved fantastic. last week. I loved it. 